Now, the other day I made like a little preliminary video about Umar. You know, I think I titled it, y'all, you know, got Umar fighting for his life, you know, out here. Uh, really, he's mostly fighting for his career. His, his, his definitely his uh, traveling preacher career and different things that, that he's doing. Um, but let's do a breakdown of this fully and why this has been a so-called scandal. Now let's go ahead and play the infamous video that everyone is talking about with Umar uh, being at the mall speaking to um, the snow bunny. Let's go ahead and roll that. You got it. You got it. Oh my God. Look at it. <laughs> they got you on camera. They got me in the camera. This is the clearest video I've ever seen. This is the most HD ever. This is 4K. How did they get you in 4K? Yeah, I had to add the the, the video about the 4K thing because yeah, they <laughs> you, you heard the dudes back there was recording him, right? But before, before I get to what Umar had to say and, and, and some more things we're going to look at on the surface, did Umar do anything just on the surface wrong? We will speak reality. Okay. Then we get to Umar's reality. Reality speaking, he didn't do anything wrong. He wasn't hugged up on a woman. He wasn't kissing a woman. He wasn't on a date with the woman. He wasn't doing anything that most people say he was doing something like wrong that he should be ridiculed about. I'm just saying at the surface, if you see this video, if a person didn't know who Umar was and they saw that video, they were like, well, what did he do? Like he didn't do anything wrong. He was just talking to a lady or whatever he was pointing to on the phone. Right. But that's normal people. And that's reality. Um, what most people would say Umar's world and Umar's reality. That was wrong. According to Umar's, uh, what he speak about, that was wrong. That was a non-African woman. Now, let's get to his post here. The first one. He said, why you dusty, snow bunny loving beta males leave out the footage of me taking a pic with the brother? That would have given context to the conversation with the vendor. Why did you remove the footage of me paying her for my incense? Lastly, why did you not show me walking off? After the pic with the brother, she asked who I was. I told her, then she pulled her phone out and searched me on YouTube. The Breakfast Club videos popped up first in the feed. I simply pointed to those videos on her phone and said, that's me. She said, wow, that is you. He said, I promptly picked up, he said, my merchandise, he said, and bag and headed to the smoothie shop. Well, I ran into the beautiful sister that I took a picture with and then on to my car, it said to get back to Philly before the storm hit, you Negroes can't stand a principled black man. So if we go here, this is the, this is the picture that he's talking about in, the, in that post. He said, haters out here acting like I ain't dedicated to my black sisters. He said, way too much brown sugar out here for the prince to be pushing up on a snow bunny. Besides, I'm already wiped up anyway. Um, no, you're not. And so this woman here, she looks like she's Afro Latina on this picture. Um, this was another one here. Of course, you know, I'm wanting to go through all of these things cause he, cause he had all these different, you know, things to say. He, he, he's changing his, his story. I want to show all different ones. So he said here, yes, I was at the Cherry Hill mall today. My iPhone uh, crashed last night and the closest Apple store with an available appointment today was in Jersey. As I was leaving the mall, I stopped by the kiosk to view the incense and crystals. That non-African woman is simply the vendor. A supporter came by for a photo of a black man and prompted her to ask me who I was. I told her I was a popular psychologist in the black community. Narcissism. He said, I paid for my merchandise and went on with my life. If you dusty snow bunny loving beta males don't believe me, then visit the mall and ask her personally. If we exchange phone numbers, I was dealing with food poisoning and I wasn't in the mood for all that anyway. So it's a heaviest the head who wears the crown. You said you were dealing with food poisoning. So you wasn't in the mood for all of that. So are you saying that you would exchange numbers with her? Okay. So now let's get to a video. I want to just build all this up before I start really talking. 
Let's go to the video. They actually went to the mall and spoke to the, 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 the young lady. Let's roll that. Here we are. We are at the infamous stand that was seen in the video yesterday. Okay. Hi, guys. So, <laughs> she's like, hello. So you see one, it is right by the bistro bar. So relax, y'all. He was right here. He wasn't at the food court. He was here. The Apple store is right there. He literally came in and so he walked in and he was looking at my incense. And our incense are handmade. They're mm -hmm. fresh. We sell natural remedies like yes. essentials. We have crystals. I came up to him, talked to him. Wait, so and pause. You're the girl that was in the video. Yeah, I am the girl in the video. I'm not a white girl, tell us where are you from? I'm Persian, actually. Go. I'm not even white, but <laughs> I guess I'm Persian. Um, yeah, so we're here at the Apple Store. Yeah, so we're here at the Apple Store. Yeah, so we're here at the Apple Store. All right, so you saw, you heard the young lady. Nobody denied that he, it was him in the mall. I mean, nobody even cared about that. Now, the woman said that she's Persian, but all of a sudden now it, it matters that she's Persian. All of a sudden. Umar made a video said that she was a Persian American. She wasn't even white. Well, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, Prince. Hold on now. In your world, if you're not black, you're white. I said it in the, in the previous video. If you're not black, you're white. Give an example. Kobe Bryant, let's use him. He's married to Vanessa. Well, he was married to Vanessa when he was alive. You would call her white. And that woman is Hispanic. Clearly you can see it. Now she has some, you know, rhinoplasty of course on her nose. But if you remember her pr prior to the rhinoplasty, she's clearly Hispanic and you would call her white. Then you look at people like young Jeezy. He's married to Jenny, Mai, Asian woman in your world. You call her white. Now, all of a sudden, when people using your same, you know, talking points and calling this woman white, all of a sudden now she's a Persian American. Oh, no, 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 Umar. She white, brother. She white. Now, some of your people were saying, why were you going to a white woman to look at some incense and some crystals? They were saying, why didn't you go see the black Muslims or other black women? for incense and crystals that need support. You say you was going to the iPhone store. Well, Umar, what you doing with the white man's iPhone? You should be having a phone from figures communications. That is a black owned cell phone company. Where's your figures communications phone? Umar, what are you doing at the iPhone store? What are you doing? What are you even doing in the mall? Umar, you should be going to a, a, a black owned uh, place to shop. You should not be in, in the white man's mall. I'm just, listen, it sounds ridiculous. Yes. It sounds ridiculous of what I'm saying, but this is, this is what he has created over the years, right? This is what he has created. Now, so people looking at that video, people can ask you, well, why you was all tiki heeing with her for, why did you have to tell her that you was this popular, a psychologist in the black community. Why did you have to tell her that you, why would you giving her that information? It seems like you're trying to impress her. Umar seems like it because if you was really on that, like you talk about online, okay. You wouldn't have told her anything. Why did you know you talked about, you went to PWIs. Why didn't you go to HBCUs and get your, um, your, your doctorate? Why, why did you go to PWIs? I'm just, I'm just asking questions because this is what you have created. You say, all the stuff that you have said, you've insulated yourself into that. Now you are worried about your bag because if black women, just, just even that video, if black women really look at that video, the way you come across, you couldn't laugh with that woman. Not one day. You couldn't show that woman your phone. You couldn't do anything. And some of them have asked that question. Well, shoot, man, you know, I mean, like he didn't really have to talk to her like that. And you, and look, people saw your body language, Umar, Umar, your body language was kind of showing like you was, a, you was trying to choose a little bit on this chick, Umar. And people and that brother say, you know what? Umar, I ain't mad at you, man. I ain't mad at you at all. That brother saying that, right? But he's trying to defend. I ain't got to do this, man. Stop lying, bro. Stop lying, Umar. Your body language said that, you know, you, you uh, wanted to holler at her, Umar. Stop lying, bro. Stop lying. 
you you realize I bet listen, you put out four different posts speaking about an incident. If you was a G about it, the first post you put, you should have left it alone, didn't speak about the freaking crap no more. But the more you kept speaking on it, Umar, the more you kept dropping videos, Umar, the more you kept dropping live streams, it makes you guilty. You don't know the game. If you had some sort of knowledge of public relations, you would understand that you made the statement, move the hell on. Don't keep talking about the crap because that's going, you giving people more ammo to talk about your behind. You did that. Not the girl. Then you, you telling people, ask the girl something. They didn't ask the girl nothing. Only thing she just confirmed that you was there. She didn't say, no, nah, he didn't get my phone number. No, nah, he wasn't talking to me. She didn't confirm anything, Umar. So, so that's an epic fail too. sending somebody to go film that woman. If I had to go film the woman, I would have asked those questions. But see, but me, I wouldn't film that woman because I don't care about you like that. I'm just saying, Umar, you scared that your bag going to dry up. And you so, you're more concerned about this situation with that female at that mall than you are with that dog on school. If you, if you took that much energy that you putting into this situation, because you scared your bag will get cut off. If you put that much energy into the opening that dog on school, that black folks gave you what million, $2 million for, for 10 dog, at least more than 10 years. Cause I remember Umar when you started telling people about this school and black folks gave you money for that school. They gave you off the rip $250,000. And matter of fact, I know he got $250,000 because I did a video back in 2015 saying that he, it was the right plan that he had, but he was the wrong man. And I showed why in the video. And that was $250,000. He's gotten way more money since then for this school that has not opened. You have the, the global pandemic happen when every school in America was closed, was closed and they went virtual. They went to zoom and doing class. You did not open up a virtual Academy at least during the pandemic. Umar, if you were smart brother, you would have did that and black folk would have got off your back but, because because black folks expectations is so low. Sometimes black people have this mindset. Well, at least he did this or at least he did that. They, they don't, they don't really have the highest expectation of you opening up that school. Like talking about, they hope you open it, but they're not on your bumper about it. And you know, this, you got the building. Yeah. You got the building. You painted some walls. Sure. You got the lights on. Okay, fine. But you haven't opened up the school brother. So what is going to take another 20 years to open up the freaking school. When black folks gave you all this money. Listen, I, I ain't got a dog in that fight. Cause I ain't give you nothing. Because when I saw your, your narcissistic attitude, I knew said, nah, that dude ain't the one to run no school. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. Then you could have had the school open, but you even admit it because you had laid down with a stripper, right? You admitted that you messed off a million dollars that an athlete was going to give you in the black community to open up that dog on school. And you're supposed to be a psychologist, right? You know, a lot of women that's in them strip clubs, a lot of times they have had, you know, abuse at the home, no daddy, all kinds of things has happened to a lot of those girls. And they grow up to women that go to them places. And you want to go fool with that kind of woman and you are supposed to know better. And at the time you, you telling everybody you were celibate at the time that like you have a history of saying one thing and doing another brother. And that's just really what it is. Now, why I talked about this? Cause it was just everywhere. Right. But Umar needs to just focus on opening that school because as I said before, he lives in America. He's going to be exposed to all people. He starts saying, well, I could, I, you know, I talked to all groups of people. Umar, your rhetoric doesn't say that brother. It doesn't say that you have said you blackity black. I'm black. Y'all I'm black. Y'all I'm blickety black. I'm black. Y'all that's what you have put out there. That means you can't talk to nobody, but black people. And as I said before, you sitting up here in Philadelphia, Delaware, and other places where you sitting up at 
Why aren't you in Senegal? I'm just saying, why aren't you there? I mean, hey, you can't get no blacker than Senegal or Nigeria or, 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 or Kenya, Ghana, you know, the Democratic Republic of the Congo. I mean, why aren't you there? It, it's just that simple. Much as much as you talking, they don't have a quote unquote snow bunny crisis in those African countries because snow bunnies is like, if they are there, they're extremely minimum. You wouldn't know what to do. If you move to an African country, you wouldn't know what to talk about. That's, that's why you're behind still here. But anyway, yeah, Umar, you know, he worried about his bag. Y'all that's what this all about. He do not want them black women to even get that in his head. He gonna make a hundred videos about this to absolve himself. Listen, if I got to make a thousand videos to tell some people that's supposed to be supporting me that that's not what it is. And all this, man, look, I don't need that kind of support. I, that's too stressful. That's way too stressful. Maybe Umar in the future should be an educator and worry about opening up the school and not worry about people's relationships. Now, listen, you could disagree with people's relationship, but you're not in that relationship. So that's not far as you can go with it. You don't do it. You get the woman that you feel is best or man you feel is best for you. No, it's not everybody's responsibility to be in everybody's personal business. Unless you're out here raccooning, then that's a little different. That's a little different. Now there was another comment that was left that said that, well, he is right because when black men, you know, pass away, the money goes to other communities and that right there, it, it kind of, I'm glad the woman said that cause it almost, it set me off, but it set me off because y'all view black men just like the white supremacists. Black men are only good to be used and abused. And if he can't be used and abused, then he's no good. Listen, so many people have made so much money off of the deaths of black men. The biggest one we could think of is George Floyd. George Floyd, Black Lives Matter got $90 million. Every time these black men die, everybody get in the bag. So even, even, even in our community, in their mind, they really think, I'm going to tell you, and I need to do a video about this. The biggest issue why people complain about, especially black men more than the women, you know, that date outside the community is because you view black men that date outside the community as high value men. That's why it's a problem for you. There's many high value black men that date and marry within the community. Eh, LeBron James. There you go. He's a billionaire now and his wife is black but that's not good enough. But cause in your mind, you think that every man that's outside the, the daytime or married outside the community, you don't find out why they did it, how they met, you know, you don't know the environment. Nobody goes to ask that question to those people to find out like, what's the consensus. It's just, Oh, well, if he die, his money will go so-and-so. So basically all the black man was worth is his money. And then realistically, no money is community property. That's the dumbest argument ever. Nobody dies and it goes to a community of people. It goes to individuals. When you have a life insurance policy, you don't write, make sure my money go to the black community. That's not how it works. They say, who's your beneficiaries? And I know cause a lot of you don't, don't deal with life insurance. I know that's a big thing that we don't do in the black community. And we hurt our families when we don't do that. You can spend 25 doggone dollars on a policy that'll get you $250,000, dollars So when something happened to you, you don't have to, your kids don't have to worry on Facebook, begging people for donations to bury your behind, but they have a thing called beneficiaries. In other words, what people you want this money to go to when you pass away and what percentage. So most people, what they're going to put, if, if they have a spouse, definitely they have children, grandchildren, uh, 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 whoever. Right. And that's where the money's going. The money isn't no community property. That that's why that argument is so dumb because no money's community property, no matter who you marry, no matter what community you go to, even if you marry another black person, the money is not going to go to the community. It's going to go to that individual, uh, uh husband or wife and the children of that black man. Well, I will say black men or black woman, right? Cause black women marry, you know, outside the community too. So if say if a black woman passed away, she's married to 
another, and she's married to a black man, it's going to go to that black man. It's not going to the black community. If no money is community property, none. That's a, that's a silly argument and making that argument out of ignorance, let you know how y'all really think about black men, that black men is only a bag to you. They're not human beings worth love, worth attention, worth uh, affection, uh, having a quality of life, building a good thing with a black man. And maybe the more you think like that, that black men are only worth a bag. And that's how you think about them. That's why your argument is they need to, they don't need to be outside of the community because the money going over there. Then, then that's the reason why some of you ain't got a black man because you thinking that he's only worth freaking money. And you got, and you got a terrible spirit for that. And brothers up have picking up on them ugly ways. And, and, and Umo want to call people beta male. He the biggest beta male out here. The biggest one. He got to do all that pandering to single mothers just so he can get a bag. Who, who that's the more beta male than anything. And then let me wrap this up. The reason why I'm talking about this with Umar, I know you Umar fans going to go, brother, that's not right. That's all cold, man. Forget y'all. Forget all y'all. I'm not on, I, I am, I'm a man to stand alone. And if I see something, I call it out. I'm not on nobody's team. I'm not on nobody's group. I've been alone for a long time. I've learned that, that men, you know, like you say, Eagles fly alone. I don't need a crowd. Now people that support me, great. I'm with them. I rock with you that support me. But I'm not, I'm not on anything. Ain't nobody above me saying something about Umar started all this mess. And this is an entertainment channel. He talked about entertainers. So I responded because he talked about entertainers. No, I don't even talk about him on my news and political channel. There's no reason to, because he's not saying anything that's worth me responding to on my bigger channels. No reason. But since he talked about entertainers, I respond to that. So don't come, don't come to me about no Umar. I don't care about that. I don't even know Umar like that. Anyway, I mean, Umar done had a bunch of crap. I mean, how he, he supposed to be so loving black people, but the way he talked about Cyrus suit and said it that time, you know, calling him all kind of light skin, this and all that. Well, wait a minute. So you bring up colorism and you supposed to be talking about white supremacy all the time. Umar. I mean, it's, it, Umar done done so many things, man, that just messed up his own credibility. But Umar, like I said, he should just learn from this lesson and he needs to have a more balanced message. He can disagree with something all he wants. That's fine. But he just need to have a balanced approach because what you put out there and what people perceive from you in your messages, they expect you to live that. And Umar is not living that because let's call it. Somebody posted another video with his white woman was serving him. He called the woman gorgeous and he posted that U U Umar, Umar is, is, is somewhere dipping in the snow bunny too. He is. And it's going to be a matter of time for somebody to really catch something that he doing. But y'all let me know what y'all think about old, old Umar over here. Like I said, he trying to, he, boy, he don't want y'all sisters to walk away from him. Cause like I said, y'all walk away. Like I said, Umar going on the streets.